Hi everybody, welcome back to the shop. And yesterday I got in here and sprayed the uh, sealer on. And uh, I taped this thing up with all this tape. I, that was a pain, but used a lot of tape and this stuff don't stick to itself with a flip. <clears throat> kind of want to talk about uh, masking people you know a lot of folks that watch these videos are doing their own uh, vehicles and yesterday I got out here and I started with this one with masking paper and I figured out right quick that masking paper is not worth a flip on uneven uh, you know uneven surfaces so I went back got the plastic out and it took me about as long to do both with plastic it was doing one with paper. The only thing you have to worry about with plastic, <clears throat> plastic is uh, <clears throat> these little edges flipping, flipping back on your paint. So I just got it back taped and stuck. This plastic sticks to tape really, really good. Uh, too bad the tape don't stick to itself really good. But uh, we'll get by. So I think it turned out pretty well. I uh, don't see any runs. It all looks pretty good. Good smooth surfaces. I believe it's going to do to just uh, take a tack cloth and go over it right quick and then spray it with blue. And I'm hoping to go ahead and as soon as I get it sprayed down with blue, I'm going to remove all the masking. And I think I've, damn the old jacket in here. What is going on with these bees? I think uh, I think I got to leave that blue on for at least 25 minutes before I top coat it. That'll give me time to get this masking off. Without, in case I have to, uh, look at that stuff just peels off that plastic. So that's one thing you got to worry about. Um, do do you uh, re-plastic it every time you paint? Because this stuff is just, uh, you can see, it's just flaking off that plastic. So you don't want this stuff to end up in your paint. Look at that. Terrible. I really don't want to have to uh, mask this off again. This ain't too bad, but that's just all over my hands. So. You can see it don't stick to plastic very good. So I, what I'll do is I'll come here with a blow gun good, and blow all that loose stuff off first. And then I'll tack it. And then we'll shoot it with some blue. And I'll bring it back. Alrighty. She's cleared. I think it turned out pretty well. Now it's pretty blue. I think this actually turned out best. I think I do better painting with a flat laying down than I do, you know, side to side. But when I originally painted these fenders, you know, I had built a stand for them. And they were really close to the, to the top edge of the stand. And uh, I think this tree I bought really uh, is worth the money when you're painting fenders. Cause you can get you can get around it pretty easy. I got a damn fly in here. <clears throat> so I put two really 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 wet coats of uh, of uh, clear on here, and it was actually so wet that I was afraid I was just going to sag. Uh, and I don't know if y'all can tell. You got a little orange peel. I'm hoping I got enough up here. I actually, you know, I hit around and then I come back and hit this back side right here. I went ahead and took all the masking tape off when I cleared. I didn't really care if I got a little overspray on the back side of it with the clear. Uh, I do see a few little specks here and there and that's to be expected. I do have some runs in it, however. I seen it when I, I got it actually uh, running on the first coat, 
right in here. You see, I don't have much room. I, I could have moved this a little bit, I guess. But I've got some pretty good runs right there in this gray. I don't think it's going to be that big a deal to get out. But it's, I think it's pretty much just in the gray. And that's the only runs I saw unless I got some on the second coat. paint almost looks metallic in this camera but it's non-metallic I think this this side over here unless I got some runs in here I think I don't have any runs in this side <clears throat> now I did have a little fleck of paint when I pulled this tape off it took a little fleck off right here and uh, I'm not worrying about it I guess I could have went back and touched that up before I cleared it, but at this point, I just want this darn thing done. I think, I feel like I've been working on this project for five years, but I think this cow turned out really nice. Let's see if I can get a close up here. So, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe if you haven't.